about me until, you know, people kept commenting in my comments about it. And it's just like, bro, I did one of the most like lighthearted, easy jokes and people lost their minds, bro. It's like anyone would make that joke if anyone was wearing a white hood, you know what I mean? What's good, gang? It's your boy, Shorts McGee, and I am back with another Hot Takes video. So this video is going to be revisiting our old friend, the Green Skin King. So what I'm going to be talking about is this incident where the king here had um, called this YouTuber who goes by the name Mr. Maynard. Well, he called the dude, you know, member of the KKK just because the dog had a sheet over his body. Now, the AV project probably thought, oh yeah, this is a joke. I'm gonna be edgy, I'm gonna get likes and views. But you know, I mean, it didn't hit the way he thought it would. I mean, you're joking about the KKK, man. I mean, it's not like you're joking about, you know, another dog or something. You're talking about the KKK. See, I personally, for me, I mean, I'm, well, I'm not triggered or outraged by it. I just think, uh, you know, it was just, just a bad, poor taste in a joke, you know? I mean, if that's your taste of a joke, taste of a joke, look at me. If that's what you think is a joke, then uh, I feel bad for you. And the sole reason why I'm making this video is just the response. I mean, the response itself, you were speaking for almost in 30 minutes. It's talking about, I'm not racist, I'm not racist, take a joke, take a joke. Check this out here. About me until you know people kept commenting in my comments about it and it's just like bro i did one of the most like light-hearted easy jokes and people lost their minds bro it's like anyone would make that joke if anyone was wearing a white hood you know what i mean i will not apologize for a joke and I believe no one should apologize for a joke because just because you apologize or just because you make a joke about something doesn't make you that something. I mean, let me give you uh, an example. Do you guys know who Dave Chappelle is? Put a, put a W in the chat if uh, you guys know who Dave Chappelle is. If Dave Chappelle makes a joke about white people you guys know who dave chappelle is but yeah if dave chappelle makes a joke about white people do you think dave chappelle hates white people my answer is no he doesn't hate white people okay um he's just making this thing called a joke there's this thing called dark humor there's this thing where you know people there's also this thing called, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Now, I'm sure you're not familiar with that, but now that I told you, please get familiar with it. And if I may, yes, you're, you made a valid point with Dave Chappelle. Yes, Dave Chappelle says jokes that, you know, may be offensive to some people, but that's Dave Chappelle. He can do that because he's an actual comedian. Like to compare yourself to a professional comedian is ridiculous man like what you said wasn't just a regular everyday joke it was actually something that some people could find offensive especially said by you man out of all people and i like the part where he mentions uh and i'm not going to apologize like no one cares if you apologize or not bro like own what you said but don't try to tell other people oh i'm not racist because what you said makes it come off as if you are a bit racist or not even racist, but like prejudice. People use, you know, jokes as a defense mechanism to help cope and have a good time. And I am so sick and tired of everyone getting mad or upset about jokes, bro. Like, I'm just sick and tired of it. Oh, so the reason why you say his dog was a member of the KKK was well, because there was a defense mechanism. Oh, snap. A defense mechanism for what, man? 
I'm not going to show you the whole video, but it's going to be linked in the description. But why is homie so out of breath, man? You're just sitting there. Jeez. Why is he going live with this? I'm going live with this because a lot of people have commented because they wanted me to respond to a... Uh... The dude just clean his face with spit while in front of the camera. That is nasty, man. They wanted me to respond to this and I am responding to this. Like Mr. Maynard, like he made this whole post calling me racist, calling me all these things, saying, saying like, oh, don't remix my videos anymore. All because I made a joke. It's like, bro, I thought you were better than this. Like people really need to grow up and understand that just because someone jokes about something doesn't make you a horrible person. What you're saying is fine and dandy, but your content, man, you're always talking about the N-word past. You're always doing something with the N-word. You're always saying something racial. Like, at this point, you saying it so much, it's not even a joke no more. We think you're actually serious. A joke about Mr. Like, Mr. Maynard's dog was wearing this ghost outfit where he was wearing a white hood. And I made a joke and said that his dog looked like he was a part of the Triple K. You know what I mean? And uh, he got mad and called me racist because I made that joke. It's like, bro, you need to grow up. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you really need to grow up. <laughs> this is coming from that guy who just made a joke about the KKK and then is upset when he's called out about it. And all honesty, dude, I mean, stop trying to compare yourself to, you know, Dave Chappelle or some really popular funny comedian, man. Like, like honestly, it's really not that funny, especially when you keep reusing the same joke over and over again man and as i said i'm not gonna go any further with this video because it's way too long i mean 24 minutes of views just explaining it was a joke man it sounds like you're just trying to justify it but it wasn't funny and to be quite honest it was kind of annoying but um what do you guys think uh check out the videos in the description and see you guys next time if you like this content and would like to support this channel Visit us on Buy Me A Coffee.